Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run C and C++ programs on Mac OS X. Now, this tutorial was created specifically for running C and C++ on VS Code or Visual Studio Code. You can run C and C++ programs on a Mac by using either GCC or CLang compilers. So, in order to get these compilers, we're going to download Xcode. Go ahead and open Google and start typing download Xcode. Go to the first search result and click on the download button. Now it's gonna give you two options and you can get Xcode from the Mac App Store, but here I'm simply gonna go with the website option. Now enter your Apple account ID and password and click on the allow button. On your iPhone, you're going to receive a notification. So go ahead and enter that password in here. Now go ahead and click on the trust button and accept the developer's agreement. So go ahead and click on the submit button. Here on the next page, choose which version of Xcode you want to download. I'm gonna go ahead with Xcode 14. It's gonna take a while to download, so I'm not gonna go through the installation. Whenever you have your file fully downloaded, just double click on that and finish the installation. Now, once you install Xcode, it's going to appear in your launchpad. So go ahead and go to launchpad and type Xcode and you can launch it from here. Remember, the reason we installed Xcode is so that we can get the compilers. We're going to need these compilers to run C and C++ programs in VS Code. So in the next step, I'm going to open my VS Code editor on a Mac and start a new project. So here's VS Code. I'm going to go ahead and go into extensions. And you want to type C, C++. Then you want to click on the first extension and install it. So go ahead and click on that and click on the install button. Now, the next thing you want to do is install another extension called Code Runner. So go ahead and type Code Runner in the same search box over there and click on the first search result and again, click on the install button. So now we have our C and C++ and Code Runner and you can close all of this. Now in VS Code, go to Terminal tab and open New Terminal. Type clang dash dash version to see which version we have installed. The command line might ask you to accept the license agreement before you can use clang. So just space through it and type sudo xcode build dash license. Hit the return key and enter your admin password. Then space through the entire license agreement and type agree and hit enter. Now that we have accepted the license, we're going to type ceiling dash dash version again. And as you can see, we actually have a ceiling version show up in the console, which is a good sign. And it means that we can start using ceiling compiler. Now go ahead and restart VS Code and go to file and open folder. Now we're going to open a folder for our C project. I have my projects folder on desktop and I'm going to create the new C folder. Hit create and open the folder. Opening a folder in VS Code starts a new project. So here I'm going to start a new file by clicking here. I'm going to call it hello.c and type a basic C program. This program is going to print a message to the terminal and we're about to build and execute our first C program on Mac OS X in VS Code. When we installed Code Runner in a previous step, it added this play button in the upper right corner. You can build and run your C program from there, but it also allows you to choose which compiler you want to use. In this example, I'm just going to go with the GCC compiler. So go ahead and click on the first option the C program build process will start. You might need to accept the permission for the C program to access your desktop. So click OK on that. Now our program will execute in a terminal and you will see the hello message over there. Now if you click on the code runners play button again, it's going to build with the previous settings. And so in order to actually run the program, you have to click on this other arrow and click run code. And now as you can see, our C program is running in terminal in VS Code. Next, I'm going to create another program in C++ this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and open folder. I'm going to create a new folder and call it CPP. 
and I'm going to open it. So here I'm going to create a file and I'm going to call it hello.cpp and type a basic C++ program. Now I'm going to go to the code runner button again and select the compiler. I'm going to choose clang++ for this one. And so again, it's going to build in a terminal and run. So here you see the hello world message. To run it again, you're going to click on the play button again. It's going to build the project and then run code. So guys, pretty much that's all there is to writing C and C++ programs on Mac OS X in VS Code.